I thought I'd give you guys a quick look at a hardware store I sometimes go to. This whole street is lined with hardware stores. And just a little bit busy with motor scooters, right? And so basically, this is probably one of the larger hardware stores. So I just give you a quick look inside. So this spot here is where they sell abrasive discs and those cutoff discs, those good green ones. So I just kind of pan along here and show you the different kinds. So this is the good one right here. It's got that alligator on it and it says on the top cut off and it has the, a mesh. It has a tan colored mesh which would prevent it from exploding whereas this green one doesn't. And those are really not good. That one's not good. These are the kind of faux German ones. I, I guess they could be from Germany. I'm not sure. The price is a little higher and these are pretty good. These are Japanese but they're not specific for steel. I think they're for non-ferrous metals. These are the ones you want to get. Just a quick correction, they say cut wheel, not cut off. You can see on the floor here, they have these little baby cast iron boat anchor anvils and a bunch of files, hammers. This The way the store is arranged, the stuff is here, there, and everywhere. It's not a very big store, but by standards here it is. And it's really nice. They've got just a bunch of everything. It kind of reminds me of uh, old, you know, um, hardware stores back in the States when I was a kid. You know, where you can go in and, you know, you can see everything within a glance. Unlike the big box stores nowadays that just seem so hollow. I'm not a fan of home despot or similar stores. Small mom and pop stores are alive and well in Taiwan. These are some specialty tools which are a little bit expensive for grinding, cutting on fine stuff. You can see uh, right there, that chop saw, I could probably use that. So you see, eventually I wound up buying a whole bunch of these. I bought a pack of 50 of those cutoff discs. Here's a few more touch marks to peruse. A wolf's paw with the initials inside. This one is really nice. Here's an octopus. Pretty nice looking. This, for some reason, it reminds me of a recent James Bond movie. At first glance, it's hard to tell what this is, but it's a despondent court jester. You can see with his rumpled hat. I like this, and the engraver really liked this one as well. The initials DB, squared. I like this. This style is very easy to use. It's comprised of all fine lines. And lastly, very stylish, signature-like initials, LPA. I, I like this one a lot as well. This is also a very easy touch mark to use. Don't be shy. Hit the like button and subscribe.